In the first part of this lesson, I walked through setting up a YouTube channel from scratch. Now we need to upload some content. You can upload a variety of video sizes and formats, and YouTube will convert them as needed. To upload a video, click in the top right on Create, then choose Upload Videos. You can upload more than one video at a time if you like. You can browse your computer or drag and drop a file. I'll drag in this MP4 video. It's important to allow the video to fully upload before you close your browser or turn off your computer. Otherwise, you may need to start the upload over again. While you wait for the upload to complete, fill in the title, description, and other information. This will help viewers find your video in search, and it will help YouTube serve your video to the right audience. We'll come back to that. First, I want to let you know that once your video has fully uploaded, it will not be visible to the public until you choose to publish it. For now, it is visible to only you. You've probably already double-checked your video, but I would check it again after uploading it. It's possible you uploaded the wrong file, and it may not be something you want to be public. I've done this myself, and it's embarrassing. Your videos also need to process, which means that they are uploaded, but YouTube is still doing some work to them. If you publish a video before it's done processing, you may be showing viewers a blurry, low-resolution version, not the full-quality version that still needs to process. Again, this is something I've done myself a few times, so keep an eye on the processing status, especially if you're rushing to post a video as soon as possible. Now to add the video details. I know there is a lot to fill in here. Just do your best. It will take time to learn the best practices of adding titles and descriptions. You can always change this later, but if your video ends up performing well, you might just want to leave it alone. More important than the title and description is the thumbnail. This is the small image that you see when you browse through YouTube videos. You want this to really stand out and attract people to click on it. But again, this requires an understanding of what makes a good thumbnail. I have a video about that if you're interested. The most common mistakes made for thumbnails are not using a custom thumbnail or using a poorly designed thumbnail that doesn't accurately represent the video content. The clickability of this thumbnail is what's going to signal to YouTube that your video is worth serving to more viewers. So spend some time on your thumbnails. I typically do this while my video uploads and processes because I have a lot of design experience, but it may take you a lot longer than that. Many successful YouTubers plan their thumbnails in advance. That's how important it is. Again, do your best here and update the thumbnail later if it isn't performing well. You can add the video to a playlist to categorize it or put it into a sequence. You can create new playlists here or choose from existing playlists. Scroll down and click on Show More to access some additional settings for this video. You can set this up however you like, but what I want to focus on are the tags. It's said that tags don't really matter, but it's also said that they do. So I would add some tags, but only a few relevant ones. This could help surface your videos in search. I added some tags to my upload defaults, so those are already available. You can click on tags to edit them, and you can rearrange them. Put the most relevant tags first. Click on the X to remove a tag. There are even buttons to clear all tags or copy them. You can even paste tags here as well. Beneath the tags, you can choose your video language if it's not been chosen as your default. Moving down, you should allow embedding if you want to embed your videos on your personal website or other social media platforms. Publishing to the subscriptions feed is recommended unless you want to intentionally not show a video in the feed. For example, if I were uploading a course made of 15 videos, I would probably disable this so I don't clog subscribers' feeds with 15 videos in a row. Something like that could get you some unsubscribes. Instead, I could just publish one of the videos in the series to the feed and link to the rest. I don't want people to sample this video, so I will uncheck that. Next, I can choose the category for this video. This may vary from video to video, or it may remain consistent depending on the nature of your channel. Try to choose the best option, but don't worry about it being perfect because it isn't a huge factor in the success of your videos. I'll choose how I want to handle comments for this video, and that's it for this tab. Moving on to video elements, here's where you can add subtitles, end screens, and cards. These are sort of optional, but they can enhance the value of your videos, and they allow you to link viewers to more of your content. I won't go in-depth into this stuff in this video because to really utilize it, you need more than one upload. I will create an end screen just to demonstrate how that's done. I've created this slide at the end of my videos that I reuse. Then I add some elements to the end screen to link to other videos and promote my memberships or products. 
I'll add a playlist for now since I can't link to my only video. I'll save that, and then at this point my video is ready to publish. Click on the Visibility tab, and then choose what you'd like to do. If you choose to make the video private, only you or specific people you add can view it. If you choose to make the video unlisted, then you can share the link for anyone to view. The unlisted video will not be publicly visible on YouTube in a search, and without the link it would be nearly impossible to find. So this is also a way to make your videos somewhat private. Then there's public, which makes your videos available to the public in search, subscriptions, related videos, and other browse features. If you want your video to be on YouTube, this is the option you'll choose. I'll leave this video unlisted for now until I've created a thumbnail for it. In the meantime, I'll just choose one of the auto-generated ones. Now that I am done, I will apply all of these changes by saving them. Now my first video has been uploaded. I can't edit the video at this point, with a few exceptions, but I can edit the video information at any time. I can even change the visibility to make it public when it's ready, or unlisted or private if I want to remove it. I can even delete YouTube videos to permanently remove them. The last step I need to take to publish this video is to create a thumbnail. I don't want to say too much in this video, so I will just give you a brief overview. I'm using Photoshop, but any application, free or paid, that will give you access to image editing and text features will do. The idea here is to show the subject of your video. This can be a screen capture from the video itself, or something generated from scratch. In this case, this is a painting demonstration, so I am showing the painting. If you were in the video, show yourself or what you're doing. Remember, this is one of the most important steps. You can also add text if it's appropriate. Usually text helps to draw attention to the thumbnail, and it helps to make it more clear what the video is about. But don't make it too wordy or it will be difficult to read. In this case, I don't want text, so I will just add a relevant logo in the corner. If you'd like to learn some basic Photoshop skills like this, check out my tutorial videos. Now, to apply the thumbnail, you can browse for it or drag and drop it into the YouTube Studio. However, if this is your first time uploading a thumbnail, you'll need to verify your account with your phone. Once you do this, you'll be able to freely add thumbnails. Let's drag in that thumbnail again to apply it, and then save. Let's return to the Content tab and select Playlists. Since I don't have enough uploads to put into a playlist, and I have some relevant videos on another channel, I will add those to a playlist. Yes, you can add other channels' videos, but they do not count as your content. I'll search for the relevant videos, and then add them to a new playlist. This one I will add to a different playlist. I'll return to the playlist page and refresh it to show the new playlists I created. I'll click on the pencil icon to edit these playlists. You can change the video order manually or automatically. In this playlist, I want the videos to be listed in reverse chronological order. I can make the playlist easier to find and offer clues to what it is about by adding a description, and I can choose which video shows as the thumbnail for the playlist. I'll customize the other playlists as well. Now I'll need to add these new playlists to my channel homepage. I'll click on my profile in the top left and then customize my channel. I'll choose Add Section and then Single Playlist. When I'm finished, I'll publish those changes. I'll preview the public view of my page and refresh the browser to see the changes. It may take a little time for the changes to show up, so be patient. The last thing left to do is to make my video public. I can edit it and then look under visibility. If now is not a good time, I can schedule it for the future, though if you do this, you can't share an unlisted link any longer. In this case, I want to publish it now, so I will choose that and then Done. Now if I click Save in the top right, the video will instantly become public on YouTube. You can use the link to your video to view it or promote your video. You can also test to see how your video ranks in search, but you will want to wait some time for it to get some views. Eventually, you'll be able to see how many views you're getting and other useful stats in the Analytics tab, but that's a topic for another video. You may also have access to posts and live streaming. If you plan to live stream, I recommend visiting the page first because it will initiate a 24-hour timer that must expire before you can stream. If you were planning a spur-of-the-moment stream right now, this would definitely take the wind out of your sails, so deal with this now. Posts can be a great way to share something on your channel in between video uploads. 
Because you can schedule posts, you can create a lot of them ahead of time so you don't have to remember each week to do it. I share links to my old videos and playlists for people who may be new to my channel, and I share content from my other channels. You can even share images and get feedback from your audience using polls. While we are here, in the top right there is a bell icon that shows notifications when you have activity on your channel. You may want to customize these notifications so you aren't getting so many of them. With that, you should be ready to begin creating and uploading more videos to your channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more content creator tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and stay creative.